What is up everybody, ATK back at again with another video. So I'll be checking out the special program for Honkai Star Rail version 2.4 and I believe this is the special program where they, they will reveal um, the new story arc for the Zen Show arc. And for my understanding, right, they will reveal at least um, three the gameplay for three new characters which are one is Yun Li and one is Jiao Chu. And then the one that I'm personally looking forward to the most that will be much servants half of the hunt. So <clears throat> what I'm uh, what I'm really curious is how to get uh, my hands on much the much servants half of the hunt and how to get a lens. Hopefully we will we get to obtain her <clears throat> her idolons in in any other way possible instead of the usual gacha way. I hope that's not the case. And as a matter of fact, right, as for Yuli and Jiao Chu, I think I'll be skipping both of these characters. And as a matter of fact, right, I did check out the the 2.5 grip marketing, which consists of three characters which are Bei Xiao that follow that's, that's a wind element that follows the type of hunt. Um Ling Sha Fire element that follows the path of the abundance, five star character, and a four star character who goes by the name Mose. Mose, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name. Um, I think he's a lightning character that follows the path of heart. I might have to keep an eye on Ling Shadow because if her kit is basically uh, that it revolves break effect, then I might have to cook for her because she might. Uh, power creep um, Gallagher from the way I see it. If her kit is involves break effect, if her kit does not involve break effect, then I most likely won't be going for her. And as a matter of fact, there has been a rumor that has been ongoing around social media, but I think it's best that I rather not talk about it until um, until it is confirmed. So. Let's just not waste any time and just check out um, what the special program for Honka Star Rail version 2.4 has installed and hopefully the story quest for the latest Dan Show arc hopefully is as interesting as um, Anaconda or the previous um, Senjo arc. So without further ado, let's jump right into the special program for Honka Star Rail version 2.4. Right, the program starts in 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go! This program is brought to you by the interest of two damn freaking cuts. Long story short, work pressure is really starting to wear me down. You got any medicinal recommendations, Mr. Jocho? <laughs> I have just the thing, Mr. Albert. Take two mace of heavenward pepper three tails of seven star chili and half a caddy of millet pepper remove buddy are you trying to keep him grind together like with a splash of prickly ash cooking wine apply the mixture evenly and rinse after 20 minutes finally apply a layer of starch which will induce a detoxifying sweat good for the mind and the soul you trying to kill him to death that's chili by the way dr jacho Albert's not the only one exhausted around here. I should detoxify too. Well, Jin Jin shares the same Julie, voice I trust as um, Navia from Genshin Impact, by the way. Broth, but make sure it utilizes plenty of huh. premium dried chilies. Uh, Body got burned. <laughs> I see digestion issues on the horizon. Uh, some coriander should help with that. Stay your hand. But the... Turn that evil herb at once. <sighs> Unthinkable. Oh, and one more thing. Xiao Chu's English voice actor. Uh, coming back to this place. Also so half from Genshin Impact. Memories. You know? There you are. Everyone, this way. The Sienjo La Fu will be holding the Luminary Combat Art Ceremony. Your presence would be greatly appreciated. Why are there boars in here? Right on time. Eugene. Hello there. Hey, old metal. Which one she's barefooted. Oh, cool then again, I already know she's barefooted. Rock shattering slash. Master Yun Lee, look at how hard I've been training. 
much. She called March called you lead master? I could take ten of you. The shackling prison on the Lafu is completely different from the one on the oh, Ching. New it's area completely underwater. Oh, Jiao Chu. Wherever crowds gather, there is always an undercurrent beneath the surface. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? My first meal after regaining my freedom is the first oh, blood of my fellow kindred. My condolences, Whoa. Miss Hanya. Memories of chasing, glory, and terror. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. Oh, hey, show. All right, okay. Story quest looks interesting to uh, to say the least. Hmm. Still no sign of that one person though. But then again, I cannot say anything until Honkai reveals that one particular character. I cannot say anything until that uh, until Honkai reveals that one particular character. And uh, but I have a feeling that that one particular character might be revealed in either in version two point five or in version two point six. So that's going to take like another six to eight weeks. So it'll probably be around late August or early September. But I believe that's the that's during the Genshin's 5.0 um, announcement release date. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Sienzo Juming delegate. Presents! Sienjo Yao Ching Delegate present. Sienjo Lawfu Delegate present. Good, good morning, 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 good, good afternoon, afternoon, and, and good evening. evening. And to all our viewers far and wide, welcome to the version 2.4 finest duel under the pristine blue special program. As always, your avian buddy Albert's here to guide you through. Hi everyone, I'm Yu Li. A sword master from the Juming. And I'm oh, Jiao Chao. I may have the appearance of a chef, but I'm actually a healer. Greetings, everyone. It's been a while. I trust you're well. A pleasure to have you three in the studio. Now, the Penicone vacation has drawn to a close, and the crew mm -hmm. of the Astral Express is bound for a familiar destination. The Xian Zhou Lao Fu! Which is precisely why this program has invited Xianzhou friends, old and new, to welcome Trailblazers back to an old stomping ground. Speaking of which, General Jing Yuen, isn't this your first time on the special program? It is indeed, Mr. Albert, and I am deeply honored. Had I known of your program's culinary delights, I would never have delayed. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit, General! I hate to bring this up, but our catering calls for this episode were kinda spicy. If you'd like to leave a tip, we'd be extremely... Wait a minute. What's this hot pot got to do with you anyway? Didn't the pink-haired fox prepare it? <laughs> well, I'm a hot pot enthusiast, after all. Where I go... The spice follows. <laughs> Your illustrious presence is payment enough, dear friends. Dinner's on me. <laughs> what a gentleman! <laughs> Dude, even the way he speaks is really reminds me of Azuha as a matter of fact. Let's cut to the chase already. Why are we here anyway? It's like this. I assume you all received an invitation from the Seat of Divine Foresight, welcoming you to the Luminary War Dance? Yeah. It's a martial arts ceremony. Competitors battle it out in a flash of swords, all for the title of Sword Champion. As a matter of fact, the War Dance is a festival commemorating the Rainbow Arbiter and the Cloud Knight's triumphant resistance against the abominations of abundance. As you know, the Lawfu's Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was only recently resolved. Now is the time to regroup and raise our spirits. 
Which is why we have chosen this moment to convene the war dance. It is also for this reason that the title of sword champion will not be decided in this ceremony. It won't? Oh, I fear Master Yen Ching will be bitterly disappointed. And I'm Mr. Zhao Cho. This war dance isn't only a morale boost. It's also an invitation to allies and friends, a display of peace, and an important duty for the Cloud Knights. That's why Yan Ching has taken it upon himself to accompany the Trailblazers for the duration. Exactly right. In the version 2.4 Trailblaze oh, continuous mission, spot one. finest duel under the pristine blue one, Trailblazers will witness Yan Ching's assiduous side and his new identity. I get it. New identity? One person? Not enough. You need our help, right? Such a distinguished occasion surely merits the attendance of other esteemed guests. <laughs> of course! This Jianzhou Yao Qing delegation will be led by none other than the Merlin's Claw, General Fei Xiao. At her side will be two senior advisors, Zhao Chou, uh, THE Zhao Chou, <laughs> as well as Moza. And oh, it's pronounced Moza. Me and Grandpa, you didn't expect that uh, pronunciation. Uh, General Huai Yan. The famous Flaming Heart will be representatives. Be they friends from near or far, we will welcome them with open arms. <laughs> this promises to be quite the war dance. I don't want to lower your spirits, but I heard that the Trailblazer's arrival doesn't always coincide with a happy... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wasn't everyone fighting in the trailer? Three Arbiter Generals in the same place at the same time? Not a good sign. <sighs> That's not all. Rumors are circulating through the Alliance that General Jingyuan's conduct during the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis may have violated certain laws of the land. Jingyuan was yes or did really be there? Oh boy, I know where we get out. <laughs> it's true that the other two generals will arrive on the Law Fu with a certain assignment. <laughs> if you want to know the details, then ready yourself for the upcoming Trailblaze Continuance story. Let us refrain from needless anxiety. The Law Fu will ensure a spectacular war dance. Right, jeez, let's lighten the mood. <laughs> I want to talk about my legendary new Swordmaster Apprentice. She's been getting a lot of attention. She gets her own intro, right? March 7th? Of course! With the war dance right around the corner, March couldn't help herself. She set out on oh. her own martial arts journey. Stay tuned. We've got more intel on that coming up on the program. The war dance ceremony is set to span versions 2.4 and 2.5. The Ambrosial Arbor Crisis might be in the Oh, 2.1 and 2.5. Then what happens in 2.6? The Yenjo Lafu's ongoing story. This separation has been difficult. We've missed the Trailblazers dearly. Here's hoping the Sienjo Lafu can bring everyone new and exciting experiences. Ah, the broth is ready. Must be the Shall nice we add any extra seasonings? Add them all! We gotta make the most of the occasion. It's not every day we get to catch up with the Zienjo pals. And speaking of pals, version 2.4 will be introducing a brand new map. The Shackling Prison. These pals of yours, they're all in prison? Not all of them. Boy. Not in the traditional sense. <laughs> the Shackling Prison is under the Ten Lords Commission Administration. It's where Shui Yi and Hanya work. The shackling prison oh, is where we detain criminals. Its cold and forbidding entrance is located below the waters of Scale Gorge Waterscape. Huh? That does look creepy. An individual must first stand trial before being escorted to their cell. For those guilty of particularly heinous crimes, we reserve special cells of biting cold or searing heat. The interrogations of Blade and Locha were conducted in just such a place. Oh! Doesn't sound like an easy place to spring a prison break. Ooh. You can say that again. The Ten Lords Commission keeps a watchful eye, and the routes to the cells are tangled webs filled with carefully designed mechanisms. Those seeking access must first overcome innumerable tests of fortitude. It would appear the Shackling Prison is the haunt of wolf-like monsters. <sighs> the enemies, okay. Borison? <laughs> That's right. The Borison are ruthless beyond measure. Infamous for the inborn moon rage. 
Upon entering battle, the Borison share stacks of bloodlust. When bloodlust reaches a certain number of stacks, they enter the moon rage state and become enhanced. Ooh, uh oh. Watch your step, Trailblazers. That's not a good sign. What happened to catching up with pals? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Shui Yi and Hanya would love for you to go and express your uh, <clears throat> sympathies. Anyway, with the new map out of the way, it's time we talked about our new friends from the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing. Starting with a gifted young girl, Yun Li. Yun Li's face, though. Yeah, I, I, I really saw the um, footage of uh, her using the claymore just to beat the living dead legs of a, of a fly. And I believe she follows the path of the destruction if I'm not mistaken. I'm from the Sienjo Juming. Yeah, Path of Destruction. Known for its unrivaled craftsmanship. As the records show, some 60 or 70 percent of all the Sienjo's armory comes from the artisans of the Juming. Ever since I was little, I've studied sword mastery and weapons forging with my grandpa. Uh, I mean, the flaming heart. Quiet. Grandpa's always been nice to me. He loves Quiet. me, you know? Miss Yun Li oh, is the a one talented young lady. Was it Quiet, the one swords. character that wasn't in the Hold on a treasures. second. Some say she can even communicate with them directly. To her, swords are more honest than people. She lives by the phrase, swords make acquaintances, fighting makes friends. Oh? <laughs> it so happens that on the Law Fu there is an able young man with a similar love of the sword. I have a feeling you two might get along. You mean Yan Qing? He doesn't know the first thing about swords. He collects yeah. them like Why they're yeah. going out of fashion, then never uses them. Oh, oh, yeah, it's the only um, character that has here. not been revealed yet. <laughs> Seems it, like you guys it, don't share. Is he gonna appear in 2.6? Mm -hmm. And not to mention, see the giant sword I use? Forged him myself. He might not be complete, but he's already stronger than anything out there. Weapons of this caliber usually get their own name. <laughs> what do you call them? Not bad, Feathers. Finally, someone who understands swords. I gave him a unique name for the ages. Old Metal. Huh. <laughs> oh, and by it the way, has a um, Yun Li's Japanese like voice too. actress <laughs> shares the same uh, voice actress as um, the Japanese scrap, uh, voice actress metal, for Ellen Joe. Wakayama Shion-san. Old Metal usually says something like, Let's start here. Who is also um, Nana Hoshi from Nishoku Tensei. Oh, all of them? All right. And Takina from Nikori's <laughs> Recoil. Old adorable manner belies his formidable stature. Yunli might be young, but she's confident and unafraid to speak her mind. It's time we took a look at her skills on the battlefield. Right. As a physical Game type time. character following the path of destruction, gentle persuasion isn't really my style. When using my skill, I restore my oh, own she's physical. while dealing I physical she's fire. damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. What really sets Yun Li apart in combat is the way she counters the enemy. When attacked, she immediately launches a counter on the attacker, dealing damage to the target and adjacent enemies. There's a grudge and knows friend from foe. She doesn't mess around. You gotta use the enemy's strength against them. After using my ultimate, I acquire the parry state, which allows me to sustain low state. damage and taunt all enemies. In addition, my ordinary counter is upgraded to powerful counter, which deals higher damage. <laughs> yeah. You seem well versed in the art of the counter. One assumes that surprise attacks during exploration aren't a concern for you? <laughs> nope. When using my technique, I obtain a special effect for a set duration. If an enemy launches an attack during that duration, the attack is blocked, and upon oh. entering battle, I launch a powerful counter on a random enemy. Imagine. So long, Shari Shari, she's a parry queen. The girl with a giant blade comes right in straight for you. <laughs> she's the parry queen. Which reminds me, 
In version 2.4, Trailblazers will experience ah. Swords to Plowshares companion mission. She gets her own companion mission as well? Arrive on the law food from the June. There hasn't been a companion mission ever ride, since version 2.0. Which revolves around um, Black Swan and Sparkle. Uh, that was the last <laughs> one. <clears throat> And ever since then, there was never a single competitive mission to now this remember, day. remember, Albert, the prize is for the war dance champion, not the host. So if Yun Li is also set to compete, and were she to prevail, then wouldn't the prize return home with her to the Ju Ming? <laughs> not so fast now. La Fu has something to say about that. This Ju Ming may have brought the prize, he but they ain't though. leaving with it. Huh. Watch us. Easy now. External heat needs inner cooling as they say <sighs> sounds like another difficult challenge for yang ching let's move on to another new character shall we <laughs> hailing from the yao ching and soon to be making his appearance oh from the yao ching military healer zhao Cho. If he's a healer, does that mean he follows the path of the abundance? Okay. The Yao Ching's illustrious. No, healer. he follows the path of the nihility. I've heard much about you. You're too kind, General. My visit to the Law Fu is only an aid of keeping a promise. You owe someone a tasty meal? Well. Taste is secondary to nutrition, Miss Yunli. I'm curious, Mr. Zhao Cho. Under what circumstances would you usually open your eyes? <laughs> Forgive me, but um, your beef is overcooked. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Well, seems like culinary emergencies are pretty eye-opening. <laughs> but I digress. Mr. Zhao Cho. Why don't you introduce yourself a little more? Well, I am employed as a military healer to the Yao Ching's general. Military healer. You could consider but me one of the But you're full of the above of the though. I'm accompanying the general to the Xianzhou Law Fu for this war dance ceremony. Huh? So, what's with all the broths and ingredients then? Well, you see, Miss Yun Li, I believe in culinary medicine. The notion Ooh. that we are what we eat. The arts of cooking and healing are one and the same, which is why I spend so much time delving into the spicy miracles of medicinal cuisine. A meal is mm -hmm. not simply a merry occasion, but an opportunity for food to work quiet wonders for our biological systems. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Why bother dividing the pot into nine sections if you're gonna eat from all of them? <laughs> I am a self-confessed chow hound, Miss Yun Li. I eat, and then I leave. Oh, you ain't going anywhere yet, doctor. Delicacies aside, let's talk some more about that healing of yours. Before you came under General Fei Xiao's command, you were well known in the Xianzhou Yao Ching's Alchemy Commission. <laughs> you went on to cut your teeth as a military healer with the Cloud Knights on campaigns for the hunt. I heard you decided to retire. Only return in his service at the personal request of the Cauldron Master. Hmm. Some people prefer work to leisure, I suppose. Well, I am fortunate enough to be respected for my craft. Some even go so far as to deem me a miracle cure. <laughs> as General Faisal's strategist, Zhao Cho applies his taste for spice to battlefield tactics. Combat is a bubbling broth, with each side occupying one half of Yun Yong Hot Pot. Indeed. Battles are marked by myriad changes, constantly evolving in a dance of yin. So well, he's like the Zhuge Liang of the well said, General. Yao they say foxes are cunning creatures. Crew? Seems like Mr. Zhao Cho is no exception. <laughs> I think it's time we took a look at what our delicious doctor can do on the battlefield. Well, about time. I am a fire type character on the path of nihility. When using my technique during exploration, I create a special dimension. After entering battle with an enemy within the dimension, I inflict them with fire damage. And there's a possibility of following up with a stack of ashen roast debuff. So, we're cooking the enemy alive? Ah, 
Ashen Rose turns up the heat by causing enemies to sustain greater damage. Any attack that Zhao Cho lands on an enemy has a chance of inflicting Ashen Roast. Indeed. Case in point, if I were to use my skill to deal blast damage, there would be a chance of simultaneously inflicting a stack of Ashen Roast on the target. Did you just throw spices into the battlefield? Sharp eyes, General. After launching my ultimate, the battlefield becomes an enormous Yuan Yang hot pot. The enemies are trapped in a searing broth, which inflicts damage on each and every one of them. At the same time, the effects of Ashen Roast are compounded for enemies inflicted with the debuff. In line with the current highest number of stacks. Okay. Immediately after, a field appears, which lasts for a set number of turns. Okay. All these hot pop visuals are making me hungry again. What does this field do exactly? Enemies within the field sustain greater ultimate damage. Oh. And during their action, there is a chance they will be inflicted by a stack of Ashen Roast. Oh, it would follow that if, uh, for example, Akron were on the team, you would be able to help her acquire ultimate charges more quickly. Absolutely right. Mm. Smart. Nice of you to invite the enemy to dinner before showing them the door. <laughs> the last meal they'll ever experience. Smart move. <laughs> why should they see Bo Jiaochu and Akron time, together? <laughs> <laughs> I see why you did that. Well, we've got to know new friends I see why they did that. The Zooming and the Yaoqing. <laughs> Let's turn our gaze to the version 2.4 banner info. In version 2.4's first half ah. event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five star ah. only, as well as the limited Crap, I, I have to poop for four already. The limited five star light cones, dance at sunset. Because I need four more for my Nahiti team, by the way. A cat is a human. Ay, ay, ay. You certainly Just have when I thought I was planning to skip 2.4, they literally the shoved me over onto my freaking face. Limited five star characters, uh, and fine, fine, fine. Uh, In addition, the drop rates for the limited uh, five star light cones, those many springs, but and will be boosted. Uh, Didn't expect that. Another eye opening moment for our fox friend. Moments spent in the cool shade of an old tree and should holy, be used for holy a Holy crap, uh, much so in some. Couldn't agree more. Like signature like on the case too? The version 2.4 warp banner will feature a familiar face on the four star light go. Yeah, it's only. Poised Wait. to blue. She has the presence of a true sword. What's how money do? What the hell? <laughs> Someone's been taking their training seriously. Mm hmm. It's, I think the Akoni is part of the, the Harmony, right? Journey, I think it's more similar to the part of the Harmony, so it doesn't... Never mind, I'll just shut up for now. That's a really well designed outfit though, I will say this. Boba, really? Cute. What the hell? On returning to the Sienjo, March 7th is brimming with excitement for the upcoming war dance and decides to learn swordplay from Masters Yun Li and Yan Qing. <laughs> I still vividly remember instructing Yan Qing in the way of the sword. Now he's already passing on his knowledge to others. <sighs> How time flies. March 7th might be a rookie, but she's also a natural. Her master <laughs> taught her the best in zooming swordplay. So naturally, she's made quick progress. <laughs> hmm? Yan Qing is also March 7th's master. To deprive an inquiring mind of tuition is not in his nature. <laughs> All right, you are, General. I heard that March 7th was a bow and arrow user. Brave of her to take up the sword, and no doubt a challenge for her masters. I'll say. Not to mention Yun Li and Yen Xing's swordplay isn't exactly similar. Won't March 7th end up with a weird mix of styles? Man, uh, you're overthinking things. If you're dedicated to the sword, you just need to swing it. Oh, follow the sword and victory will follow. Well, we've done a lot of talking. Time to see March 7th sword blood action. March 7th, the Hunt's basic attack deals imaginary damage. Mm -hmm. When using her skill, March 7th selects a teammate as master and presents them with a special beverage to increase their speed. 
<laughs> good apprentice. As a promising young student, March 7th has a keen understanding of her master's style. When her master launches an attack or ultimate, March 7th acquires charges. When charges reach a set number of stacks, she immediately takes action again and obtains an enhanced basic attack. Her okay. enhanced basic attack deals set hits of damage to a target enemy, with a chance of dealing further Did hits. she just pull a Getsuga Tensho? <laughs> just a chance? She's a rookie, remember? Her moves might be a little rusty, but they can surprise you all the Did same. Did she just pull Getsuga <laughs> Tensho? Depending on her master's path, her specific attacks possess additional effects. That's right. For example, masters on the paths of destruction, erudition, or the hunt can cause specific attacks to deal additional damage. And masters on the paths of nihility, harmony, preservation, or abundance can raise the toughness reduction of specific attacks. Putting learning okay. an apprentice. <laughs> hmm. Where do I find an apprentice? After using her ultimate, March 7th can deal damage to a target enemy while improving her next enhanced basic attack. And... And if you were still. wondering what having March as an apprentice is like, there you have it. March 7th is humble and learns from all her allies. During exploration, for every time a teammate uses their technique, March 7th acquires a charge at the start of the next battle. When using mm -hmm. her own technique, she regenerates energy at the start of the next battle. It must be a great privilege to have an apprentice with it's such easy. powers of perception. <laughs> well, get this. Completing specific tasks in the version 2.4's Trailblaze Continuance will unlock March 7th, The Hunt! Nice! Once unlocked, a path-switching option will appear in the character interface for this! <laughs> nice! That's my apprentice! She certainly does have the aura of a heroine. Ooh, I think we could all use a lot down. <laughs> nice! More exciting updates after the break. But my question is, how does one get her Eidolons, though? They still have not answered that question yet. Because I don't, because I don't think I remember seeing um, March servants um, come from the Han Idolons in the Gacha. Though. I might be wrong. But we'll see. We'll see. But still, I did not expect a Wopo rerun in this, in this, um, in this update, man. Oh gosh. Because I, like I said, I really, really need Bohuo for my Nihility team. I really need her. Which means I have to pull for... Uh, which means in 2.4, I have to pull for Bohuo already. I'm not going to bother pulling for Sparkle though. Considering the fact that I don't have Dang Hong in Pyrotan Mei, so... It's not on my priority list. Even though she's the wingman of... Uh, and fly and Welcome back, Trailblazers. Mike it's Jackson. time we took a look. Version 2.4 Zon Events. As the war dance approaches, guests and visitors from all corners are converging on oh. the Lafu. Saga and of not all are harboring Prima, noble and Prima Bella Bleed. I'm sure all you remember a certain IPC representative by the name of Scott. Oh, the Alliance is very familiar with the conduct and deeds of the IPC. Hardly surprising. Well, Scott is out to demonstrate that Sienjo Swordplay is no match for IPC Tech. Ooh, not only does he have a mech-related provocation in store, but also wants to assert his authority through battle. For real? I think me and Old Metal owe this guy a beating. Or ten! <laughs> Hold your horses, Miss Yoon Lee. As a matter of fact, your apprentice got a little impulsive and took up the challenge. She's due to face off against her opponent in just 15 days time. A familiar turn of events. Are we able to assist Miss March in this endeavor? Of course. To help March defeat this IPC rotten egg, Trailblazers will take up the position of personal trainer. The goal? Develop a 15-day crash course in swordplay. 15-day <laughs> crash course? Crash course? <laughs> Mr. Albert, have you heard the proverb, haste makes waste? Have you heard the proverb, when needs must? Between me and Yen Ching, we've got the sword skills to provide the best crash course in town. Still, balance training also requires rest, relaxation, um, That looks like a comic panel, though. 
the Just stable see. work life balance. <laughs> Sounds like you've got to figure it figured out, Miss Yudley. <laughs> Results? Or your money back. Wow. I have a feeling yeah, this part will have cool, some though. fortuitous encounters and crucial looks like a panel along from a the manga, way. As oh. a matter of fact. I might just have to offer a helping hand myself. The encounters and sword training experiences that March accumulates will dictate oh, not the nature this of the story's fudger. conclusion. The end result will always be a solo confrontation with Scott. Though the nature not of the that story fudger. will also vary accordingly. Following the ending... Trailblazers can acquire Stellar Jade and March. I remember that Mother Fudger in uh, with the combined assistance of her friends. Event was surely it. Miss March will prevail over Scott. Absolutely. As long as a sword was he in one point she? The sword in their hand, they have nothing to worry about. Wise words indeed, Miss Yunli. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to another event. Oh, After this. leaving Penacony, I'm sure Trailblazers will remember <laughs> with fondness their unpredictable old friends, the Trash Cans. It would seem these old friends have appeared on the Sienjo. <laughs> I think it was the one point three. Yeah, the medical I think it was the one point three. Penacony is on the lookout for an assistant. Their goal? Because one point four is the to uncover the the, the Pokemon event. One point five is the the ghost event. So yeah, it has to be a one point three. Yes, question it has to be a one point three. And just like the Trailblazers, they're a trash can enthusiast. If you spend enough time in the cosmos, there's nobody you won't. Onka Stara, you're having trash way too much fun with these trash cans, buddy. The During the event, Trailblazers must use the photography software provided by Randolph to take pictures of trash cans hidden among the crowds. Different trash cans mean different points, with some trash cans even adopting special movements. <laughs> Do your best to get them all on film to maximize your points and complete the stage objectives. And a friendly reminder, trash cans may appear unexpectedly and without warning. Trailblazers wishing to catch them all will need their wits about them. Now this event isn't confined to the CN show. More dress! Your old friends have also appeared in Bellabog. Rumor has it that Bellabog inhabitants have recently what been the attacked by a shadow of unknown origin. To resolve this case, <laughs> our trash can friends need the strength of Trailblazers <laughs> and Bellabogians alike. The Once again, content for this version. Hope guys, Tara, you're right? having way too much fun with these trash can memes. Buddy, friendship is magic event. Trailblazers need to use oh my characters God. to play the role of magician and summon a special oh my trash gosh. can comrade, Letter Pony, to fight alongside them. A trash can summoning magician. <sighs> Does this sorcerer have any other notable abilities? Of course! The magician's skill and ultimate will acquire all new combat effects with the power to command minicans during battle. The minicans' attack and talent abilities will depend on which character was used to summon them, adding further layers to the combat experience. For example, the skills of certain magicians summon minicans onto the battlefield. What of the hell? Of five. The more minicans on the battlefield, the higher the attack, and the more energy regenerated for the magician! Classic trash warfare. Well, get this. Some minicans can even enter an ultra gold state and receive extra buffs! And we've only scratched the surface! Trailblazers who wish to test the limits of magical Did trash can strength can just do so Super Saiyan board. <laughs> The event will launch a new challenge stage daily, with five stages total, and each stage split into two difficulties. After completing the initiation trial challenge, Trailblazers can unlock the official trial difficulty for an even harder test. <laughs> See you on the battlefield, friends. <laughs> I need another breather. Don't go anywhere, Trailblazers. More exciting updates after the following broadcast. Focus on your reality invitation trailer. Face the challenge anywhere, anytime. Uh, mysterious pink blue trail has appeared on the streets of. Okay. 
to to natural H H S R A I counter what the heck is this? Each level recent times a group of recruiters has been at several locations at the same time. Was he heated discussion? Whoa. What? I remember seeing this on Twitter. Okay. Uh, games of the Thirty Three Galactics. Okay. Damn, Firefly looks good in that outfit. Though, I will say this. And I just realized that's Akron. Okay. Welcome back, y'all. Of course. Of course. We'll be seeing the return. It's an ob obligatory at this point. Get to Odyssey, check it out. I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> It's Some obligatory at this point. Here to stay. And of course, there's also the double events. Plain oh. Fisher and Garden of Plenty. Garden Remember of Plenty and Plenty Fisher. Okay. Or Divergent Universe for double Plain The usual. Mm-hmm. And we haven't even got to this version's system optimizations yet. Starting Wait. with the system. System of optimization. When using the filter function to screen relics already in your possession, filter choices can be saved for a faster selection process. Meanwhile, in the relic okay. inventory, Trailblazers will find new quick lock and quick discard functions. When choosing relics for a character, relics will be sorted according to the character's relic set prioritization, with the most suitable relics appearing first. <laughs> There's also a new feature for relic substat recommendations. By using the recommended relics feature, not only can Trailblazers view a character's most frequently used relic set, but also the recommended main and subsidiary stats. And Ouch. finally, when checking simulated universe interface and Cavern of Corrosion oh. in the Interastral Peace Guide, Whoa. Trailblazers can see recommended characters for the relics in question. Nice. Now, to allow Trailblazers to come into faster contact with new versions, captivating events, and time-limited rewards, 2.4 has added an advanced access feature for both Trailblazers continuance and events. So if nice. a Trailblazer doesn't meet the prerequisite conditions for a given event, they can still experience the new versions, events, and missions. Uh, you got it. This one's definitely for the new guy. For the new piece. Twenty-one. We'll see a play now icon appear on the event page for events with advanced access eligibility. <laughs> Just nice. select the icon to join the experience. Now that's an optimization. Ready and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> In the mission catalog, missions with early access will feature a special icon. Maps yet to be unlocked will get temporary map teleportation access while also featuring a special icon. Trailblazers can freely switch between the displays for the normal map and the temporary maps unlocked as a result of advanced access event activation. And what if Trailblazers achieve the normal event activation requirements during the course of early access? Good question! In that case, the event will terminate the advanced activation state and the temporary map channel will close. However, game data will be retained and Trailblazers can continue participating in gameplay as normal through the event stream. Which is when I get my hands on the limited time event rewards. In other news, in the not too distant future, a new episode of Knowing the Universe will be upon us. We've invited celebrated novelist Yoshiki Tanaka to be with us on the program. Together, we'll be exploring thoughts and imaginings on the subject of the boundless universe. <laughs> <laughs> A huge thank you to Mr. Tanaka for his participation. Man, I can't wait to see that episode. Okay. And finally, intel on a mysterious collaboration destined for launch in 2025. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> for more info, stay tuned for official Honkai Style collaborating with Pistin Knight. That brings us to the end of the version 2.4 special program. <sighs> Returning to the Cienjo, getting to know yeah. new Cienjo friends. <laughs> you guys should know how to get an old all excited. Will March be able to perfect the development? The development roundtable was the sign. At the same time. The Who development roundtable was the sign. <laughs> and you know what Let that us all means? Bear witness to the future of the Sienjo Lawful. 
See you in the next one, Joe Blazers. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> See, See you, you next then. time. And you know what that means for another game that is, that is also by Hoyo Rivers? There's a very likely chance that Zender Zone Zero will be getting a collaboration with Street Fighter 6 sometime in the future. And there's a possibility that Hoyo Rivers might be making a fighting game Capcom in the future the possibility is there because as a matter of fact because Talent Zone Zero and Street Fighter 6 already had a round table um, back in uh, back in a few months ago and as a matter of fact right a few months years ago Honkai Star Wars had a round table with the dudes from um, the Fist from the Fist Day Night dudes so I'm kind of curious what is uh, the, the collaboration is all about so we'll see how it works we'll see how it is and yeah um, I think that's uh, pretty much my reaction to the version 2.4 special program and I once again I think to sum it up right I'll definitely be checking out um, the, the, the the flagship event for version 2.0, the story quest, the flagship event. I'll be getting my hands on um, a March 7th that floats about the hunt with the Shadow of Doubt. But the, the, the one question that they don't answer is how do we get our hands on March 7th's um, Idolos when she's uh, in the path of the hunt state? That is the one question that they think they answer. Hopefully, by the time version 2.4 drops, the, the answers will be our questions will be answered so i am definitely will be checking out the version 2.4 without a shadow without and originally i was planning to skip 2.4's character banner but since war war is in the first half of the character banner i have to go i have i have to because i need war war in my 19 i really need to. so whether i like it or not i have to go for it. And that's pretty much um, sums up my thoughts on uh, the special program for Honkai Star Wars version 2.4. Thank you guys for watching. I will, I will definitely be back for more Honkai Star Wars content along with more Zen Zone, so keep Zen Zone Zero content in future. So we will look forward to that. Anyway, that's pretty much my reaction. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on special program the version 2 photo of it and what characters are you planning to go for in this in this batch or it will be in the future batches anyway my name is AJ have a good one and I will see you all in the next one just need the women forget all the praise my words hit it harder than your sticks and stones I'ma need the gold like a hair and bone a challenger no challenge man you got to go I'll be sitting on it while you watch the throne